Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest is with a company that wants to help you enjoy the sound of life and perhaps the sounds you know, of life in general. He's the senior manager with Siemens Hearing Instruments, Dr. Eric Brenda. Uh, Eric, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Dave. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, some of the things that, that we don't get a chance to talk enough about, I think, are some things that help so many people. And it's not just the elderly either that need help in, in a hearing environment. There are a whole lot of our citizens that could use some assistance there. Uh, tell me about the Siemens Hearing Instruments, what you guys are doing these days and how you're being innovative so with the, the technology today generally companies have strove to strive they would strive to you know, help it, p things be more audible strive for intelligibility our new generation the micon platform is taking this to the next level to make it not only intelligible and audible but find the most natural most comfortable sound mm. and to improve our innovation what we're being recognized with by ces for design and engineering is a waterproof hearing instrument Really? And is that what you're holding here? Let me show it to the camera. So this would this is a, a very tiny device. My goodness. Uh, they're getting smaller and smaller. Of course, it's again, size does matter. And in this case, yeah. small matters uh, very much. So you can hardly even see the Siemens logo there. It's so tiny. Uh, but this is waterproof. So now one can uh, take it in the pool, enjoy the grandkids or something. Huh? Yes, if you think about the number of people with hearing loss, uh, generally they have to get a device to help them with their hearing loss. And then if they want to go swimming, want to go exercise, if they have issues with sweat, that starts to impact the benefit the hearing instrument can give them. Oh. So now with the waterproof hmm. technology, they can do all those things, whether it be woodworking, uh, in the human environment, swimming, running, anything you want to do. This lets you, uh, it keeps you from being limited. And I'm glad you brought that up, too, because clearly it's not just about being able to go swimming, for exactly. example. It's about just life in general. That's Maybe you're out for your daily walk and it's warm today and, and you're sweating it up a bit, which is right. good and healthy. But now all of a sudden you can't hear maybe an approaching emergency vehicle or something That's or kids on a bike or whatever the case. The right? safety implications are, are very high there. Yeah. And think about it, if you're talking on your cell phone and it starts to rain, what's the first thing you do? You put the phone away. Yeah. If you need the technology to hear, it's not necessarily convenient or appropriate to put it away. Yeah, true. You get stuck in the rain just running to your car in a parking lot or something. Uh, all the more reason to be able to hear what's around you and immerse yourself in this world of sound. Exactly. Yeah. Very cool. Now, these are the kinds of things. Uh, is this called the Aquarius? Is that the one? So it's Aquarius. Aquarius. Sorry. Yes. I looked at it real quick. That'll teach yep. me. Uh, but the Aquarius. And is this something available now? This is currently available uh, in a couple different performance levels. So there's a variety of options for people. Okay. Very good. And uh, how does it charge? Or does it take a, a little tiny battery on top of so how it's so small? It actually takes a small battery that goes right inside the battery compartment. Okay. And it's actually one of the challenges for waterproofing a hearing instrument. Zinc air technology batteries require air to perform. So the challenge for us was to oh, wow. allow air to get into the battery compartment. So but the not battery water. And not water. Oh, so that was, and still keep it in a very tiny and small housing. Yeah. So it uses um, re, uh, the zinc air batteries, uh, which then also helps support it with uh, wireless technology. So we can open up uh, more communication abilities via Bluetooth and uh, let them listen to their TV, stereo, radio, um, an assortment of things. Tell me, Eric, about the, the demo you're doing here at Unveiled. I've been stuck here at the broadcast booth the whole three hours of the three-hour event, so I didn't get a chance to get over to your exhibit, but I'm told so, it's kind of unique what you're doing. So what we're doing for a demonstration is we have an iPod connected to our special Bluetooth transmitter, and we have that underwater in a, certain, in a special waterproof pack, and then that transmits via Bluetooth to our Minitech product which then uses, takes that Bluetooth signal and then sends an electromagnetic signal to the hearing aid, which can also be underwater, so you can basically listen to your iPod completely underwater. Really? Now that's taking things a, a major step forward. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> some benefits that people with normal hearing aren't able, uh, generally taking yeah, advantage no, of. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, there, you know, unless you're spending a fortune on uh, underwater speakers or something, mm -hmm. you're not able to enjoy your exactly. music library while you're swimming, at least not so easily. Yes. But that makes it very unique, so it kind of uh, allows folks to be, in a sense, envied <laughs> that it's they can do something using technology that the rest of us have to jump through a few other hoops exactly. for. Exactly. Again, the idea is not to let people feel limited. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm liking that idea. Uh, how can consumers buy your hearing aids and, and these uh, these products that are so available now? Hearing for getting hearing aids, um, they would go to a hearing care professional, generally an audiologist or a hearing instrument dispenser. Mm -hmm. And these licensed professionals will test the hearing uh, and then program and dispense the hearing aid, particularly for the individual's hearing loss. Good. And they should ask for the new Siemens goodies because it's going to make their life a whole lot better and allow them to uh, immerse themselves literally in the sound. Exactly. I love it. Siemens.com for more information. S-I-E-M-E-N-S dot -E com. And of course, we'll link you there to Eric's site. You'll see what he and his team are up to when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Dr. Branda, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Keep up the good work. It's no doubt helping a whole lot of folks. Right. Thank you very much, Dave. Our pleasure. Back with more from New York City. I'm Dave Braveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network. Oh, 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 oh,